So I was brought up early because I had a wife that was dying. And the doctor said, you have to move her from where she is. That's affecting her very badly. I came to the corner of Clovis and King Canyon's Road. I drove about a quarter of a mile. And on the left-hand side, I saw a big sign that said anybody who uh, deposits $5,000 uh, will build a house for him. Now, of course, I would have to have a mortgage on it. So I said, hey, this is exactly what I want. So I filled the contract and I signed it. And from where he was standing, he saw my signature and he immediately said, oh, you have a YA and are you Armenian? I said, yes. I, I, said, well, I still had my uniform on. It was just a few days back from the overseas. And he said, oh, I'm sorry, but uh, Orientals, Negroes, Mexicans, Armenians can't live here. The uh, people who are selling it will not accept you people. Well, having just come back from the overseas, I was ready to kill that man. I grabbed his necktie and started choking him. I was going to kill him. I was so, I forgot myself. To work, to, to be, I had gone three years volunteer and come back and told I can't live in this country. And that's the way in my, world, in my life. One time I was told I wasn't worthy to live here. Even though I, was, I fought three years in the army. <laughs> I can't help it. It was an insult I couldn't take.